Dancing on Ice judges Jane Torville and Christopher Dean's decision to retire from skating could signal the beginning of the end for the show following a ratings tumble. Following the 40th anniversary of their win at the 1984 Winter Olympics in Sarajevo, the pair announced this month that they would no longer be performing together. Their news came as Dancing on Ice got its smallest ever audience, with 2.9 million viewers tuning in to watch the January 28 episode. The program regularly saw 12 million people tune in during its heyday and the series went through some changes this year when new host Stephen Mulhern, 46, joined alongside Holly Willoughby, 43, following her former co-host Philip Schofield's exit. While Jane and Christopher have insisted they will remain on the Dancing on Ice panel after a tour of their own, it has been claimed the 2025 series could be their last. In addition, the show is expensive to make with many of the 12 celebrity contestants earning six-figure sums for taking part, according to The Mirror. A source told the publication, Dancing on Ice faces an uncertain future. The ratings are low for a big weekend show and without Torville and Dean putting in their performances this could be the end of the road. It is an incredibly expensive show to make. It only works if it gets a big audience. A show spokesman told the newspaper, Dancing on Ice remains a popular format for us, having launched with 4.2 million viewers. Mail Online has contacted ITV and representatives for Jane and Christopher for comment. British skating duo Jane and Christopher will embark on one final UK tour next year, which will be their swan song and mark 50 years since they formed their skating partnership in 1975. It was Valentine's Day in 1984 when they skated to victory at the Sarajevo Winter Olympics, winning the gold medal and earning the highest ever score for a single performance. Christopher said the pair had agreed it was the right time to stop skating as they are not spring chickens anymore and want to walk away while they're still able to do it to a certain degree. The pair became international stars after receiving 12 perfect SIXS while skating to Maurice Ravel's Bolero at the Zetra Olympic Hall in Sarajevo, prompting a standing ovation. It was watched on television by 24 million people in the UK and one month later they received an even better score at the World Championships. Their farewell tour, Torville and Dean, Our Last Dance, will run from April 12 to May 11, 2025 with dates in London, Belfast, Newcastle and Glasgow. I think there comes a time when you know, said Dean. We're not spring chickens anymore but we're still able to do it to a certain degree that we feel good about it but that will go. So, I think this is the right time for us to be able to do that and go and skate and do some of the old routines, be very nostalgic, but then do some new fun, upbeat, dances, with friends of ours from the skating world and from dancing on ice. He said that they are looking at the tour as a celebration, but predicts they will feel emotional about their final skate the nearer is gets. We'll have a sense of pride as well, I think, of what we've done and still been able to do over the years, bringing competitive skating and competitions and then entertainment through the TV screen, he said.